Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to install and set up Git on Windows 11 for VS Code. So, let's dive right in. First, open a browser window. To download Git, search for Git and press Enter. Click on the first link that appears in the search results. This will take you to the official Git website. From here, simply click on the Download for Windows button. The download will begin shortly. Once it starts, you can minimize the browser window. Now that Git has been downloaded, you'll find the setup file in your downloads. Simply double-click the file to begin the installation process. First, go through the license agreement and click on Next. Here, you can select a different installation folder, but I will keep the default location in the Program Files folder, so I'll just click on Next. Next, you can choose the components you want to install. I'll leave everything as default and click Next. You can then select the Start Menu folder. I'll go with the default option and click Next. Here, you can choose the default text editor for Git. The default is Vim, but since I don't have Vim Editor installed right now, I'll select Notepad as Git's default editor and then click Next. Next, you can specify the name of the initial branch in New Repositories. I'll leave it as default and click Next. Now, you can adjust your path environment. I'll also leave this as the default, which is the recommended setting, and click Next. For the SSH executable, I'll go with the inbuilt OpenSSH client, so I'll click Next. When it comes to choosing the HTTPS transport backend, I'll select the OpenSSL library and click Next. For the line ending conversions, I'll stick with the recommended option and click Next. Next, you can configure the terminal emulator to use with Git Bash. I'll go with the default option, Minty, and click Next. For the default behavior of Git pull, I'll stick with the default option and click Next. In the Credential Helper section, I'll select the Git Credential Manager and click Next. Now, you can configure extra options. I'll enable file system catching. If you prefer, you can also enable symbolic links, but I'll stick with the default settings and click Next. Here, you can select any experimental options. For this tutorial, I won't select any of them. Once done, click on Install. Git has now been successfully installed on my system. You can launch it immediately from here by checking Launch Git Bash and clicking Finish. As you can see, the Git command line window has opened. From here, you can perform any Git operations you want. Let me close this window. You can also access Git Bash by right-clicking anywhere on the desktop, selecting Show More Options, and then clicking Git Bash here. This will open Git Bash inside the current directory. To further check if your Git Bash is installed, you can open the search bar from menu and write CMD. Open the command prompt and write the command Git version. This will show you that your Git is successfully installed. To integrate your Git with Versus Code, open the Visual Studio Code app. Then, open the command palette by pressing Ctrl Shift P or simply go to the View tab and select Command Palette. In the Command Palette search for Terminal Select Default Profile and click on it. This will show you the installed shells in your system. Select Git Bash here and this will set Git as your default shell. And that's how you can install and set up Git on Windows 11 for VS Code. If this video helped you out, make sure to join the Show Me Software Free newsletter. It's linked in the description below. In this newsletter, I will tell you about the latest software tools and AI that can make you more productive at work and also improve your personal life in many different ways. You can also reply to these emails with any technical support questions you might have, and I'll do my best to help you out for free. This newsletter is completely free and will always be free. So, click the link in the description to sign up.